Hey guys, I uploaded the first picture of the first ever rehearsal for the first episode. There's a lot of firsts here, so go to my Instagram and hit like, show your support. This is outrageous. It's unfair. We would be honored if you would join us. All right, so this video is one that has kept me up the last few nights. On one hand, I want to please my fans. On the other hand, I want to make a really good fan film. Now, Vader's voice is something that is very iconic. It's gotta sound like Vader, but also hold the energy and emotion of his lines. They're not just words and sentences. They're coming from a man who has had the immense turmoil of the life we know for him to have followed. Being held back all his life, losing his mother, losing his wife, turning to the dark side, betraying everyone, killing kids, and then losing all of his limbs, being burnt alive, and then becoming a robot that lives inside of an extremely painful suit with needles and tubes inside him at all times, and only to serve some old crazy Sith Lord. These aren't just lines, they have to be felt. Now, we have two talented actors here that I've been fortunate enough to come across. Neither of them are James Earl Jones, but they're pretty close. Dylan Poor and Jesse Gomez. Now, I would be okay with either of these choices, but you know, of course, that's not how this works. There has to be one, and I'm the guy to do it. From day one, I always said that I'm never gonna be someone that calls the shots without listening to you. That's something that YouTubers forget. You know, sure, it's our vision that makes the content and talents or whatever you wanna call it, but it's the subscribers, you guys, that makes it successful. So, what happened? I want you guys to feel the position that I'm in, and maybe together we can make the proper choice, or you can at least see where I'm headed with this. I uploaded Dylan's thank you video for being hired as Vader's voice, and many commented their distaste saying I chose the wrong Vader. You can imagine my face when I saw those comments. I then did a poll on YouTube asking for you to vote for Dylan or Jesse, where there were thousands of comments saying, don't you dare give it to Dylan, then take it away. Even some people being like, I'm gonna stop supporting you and the channel if you actually do that. You gotta take it away from Dylan and give it to Jesse. You guys wanted Jesse to do one more callback, so I emailed him, and he wanted me to thank all of you for all the love that you showed him. Here's his Instagram, by the way, shout out to Jesse, where he then sent his new audition and I uploaded it. That was yesterday's video. This time, many of you who voted for Jesse in the original now voted for Dylan, while still many were wanting Jesse. So you guys can kind of imagine the tight spot that I'm in. On one hand, if I choose Jesse, all those will get angry and say, how dare you give it to Dylan, then take it away. If I choose Dylan and stick to my guns, many will become disinterested and say I chose the wrong Vader voice, how Vader is the most important to this fan film because it's a Vader fan film. Believe me, I know. Now, you guys have no clue the script that Danny and I have written. You don't know the lines, you don't know the story, you just have a brief idea of what it's gonna be about. This is eight months after Revenge of the Sith. This isn't Vader from Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi, or even Rogue One. This Vader is the closest to Anakin that we have ever seen. He hasn't fully become the Vader that we all know, and that's the point of this story. To show what happens to him and what he does that makes him Vader that we have all come to know and fear. That's why so many don't understand by saying, oh, you know, we've had six movies of Vader and Vader is supposed to be emotionless, etc., etc. Not this Vader. This is Revenge of the Sith Anakin becoming Vader and getting used to becoming Darth Vader. He still has some emotion. He has impatience now more than ever. He has this incessant itch to fix what has been severed off from his life, figuratively and literally speaking. Now, I first chose Dylan because his emotion conveys the lines that have been written for Vader in this story extremely well. While I respect that Jesse, no doubt, sounds much more like James Earl Jones, he doesn't give me the same feeling as when Dylan says his lines. With practice, yes, Jesse could be a perfect Vader, and that's why if I save up enough money for episode 2, 3, 4, and 5, which, mind you, will each cost upwards of 150k, Only money. then casting Jesse would be something that we'd look at down the road if Dylan wasn't the right fit. But as of right now, Dylan's got the part for this episode. I feel that he conveys the lines and the emotion perfectly. You guys have to realize everything that you've seen from either candidate hasn't involved any coaching whatsoever. And with a voice like Vader's in post-production, we can literally make a chipmunk sound like Darth Vader, let alone Dylan, who sounds great as is with his natural talent. Also, ethically speaking, I can't really give it to Dylan and be like, yo, fans don't want you, so I gotta take it back and give it to this guy. He's done nothing wrong. He's shown that he can play Vader, and he conveys the emotion very well. Now, in post-production, if there's a problem, then we'll come to that when we come to it, and we'll have to adjust accordingly. However, right now, 
He's great, and he's done a great job, and with coaching, he'll be even better. These voiceovers won't be added until post-production is nearing completion, which is sometime in November, so in the next two months. And in this time, he will be coached further and have his voice perfected, so that when the fan film does drop, it'll be exactly what I envisioned it to be. That's the power of time and editing. Come on guys, trust me, I'm not putting 100k of my own money into an unmonetized video with zero money back. That's literally YouTube suicide. This is my career here, this is my livelihood. There's no catch, there's no sponsorship or hidden agenda here. And if you guys think, oh, but people donate to Patreons, well, think again. <laughs> Okay, sadly, it's it's not happening how I wanted it to, but I'm doing this from the bottom of my heart and for my respect to George Lucas with what he's done for the world by making such a nice story for us all. And of course, you guys, Star Wars fans, whether you like me or my videos or not, this one's for everyone. And of course, it's always been my dream to make a very cool fan film, and I'm in the position to do so, so why not? On that note, I fly out to LA this Monday and we have our first big meeting with the director, producer, costume designer, makeup artist, and so on and so forth. Everyone that is at the head of this fan film. This is pretty much the moment that we've all been waiting for. I'm extremely excited for it. I bought a really cool camera and I can't wait to film everything. I don't know, that won't come out until, you know, after I do film my face reveal in the fan film at the end of December. So you guys are gonna have to wait for that, but please do stay tuned for the live streams on set and the periodic uploads that I will do over the next two weeks. I can't promise that I'll be uploading every day, but I want you guys to be up to date with my Instagram, so be sure to follow it down below. This is it, guys. This is the time that you've all been waiting for. So thank you for watching and being part of the journey thus far. Have an awesome rest of your day, and as always, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you all.